So I want to talk about our offensive struggles, man. And should we fire Shane Beamer's offensive coordinator, Marcus Statterfield? All right, we're just going to look at it right here real quick. Eight games until the 2022 season, South Carolina football doesn't have an offensive identity. Or rather, it has an identity that is refused to embrace and that refuse, that refuse shows every week on the stat sheet. The Gamecocks should be a run first offense, right? Run first offense. Redshirt sophomore running back, Monshawn Lloyd. What? He's a redshirt sophomore? Really? Is clearly the best weapon with 557 yards, rushing, nine touchdowns, but he had just 30 yards on seven carries in Saturday's 23-10 to 10 loss to Missouri, right? The team finished with a season-worst 32 total rushing yards, though that number isn't a far cry from the 40 rushing yards it logged in against Arizona in Week 2. South Carolina coaching staff wants quarterback Spencer Rattler to be the team's best player. But it's time to stop waiting for the superstar that come out of high school to show up. There's no question that Riley is a good quarterback, but he isn't the conversation with he isn't in the conversation with the other elite quarterbacks in the SEC, right? So 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 Shane Beamer and offensive coordinator Marcus Statterfield have gushed about. Rattler's work ethic. He's committed to improving and how strong he looks in practice, but that isn't translating to game day. After the loss to the Tigers, Beam admitted that Rattler didn't play well, but he attributes some of his issues to the offensive line at valid point in a game where the line gave up four sacks and three hurries, right? And then Shane Beam said, I think it's a combination of things. He'll be the first to tell you he's a guy to play better. He's got to play better. I say, guy to play better. But we've got to protect him better, Beamer said. A lot of times tonight, he was under duress and made some great plays. We've got to continuously have great practice and continue to look at why. Not just him or offensively. We don't have to be better carryover from practice games, right? So, and we talked about Jayhan Bell, right? So, let's, 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 let's start right there, right? Let's start right there. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna get out uh, y'all way, man. Last point. I talked about this before, and I agree with the writer from the state saying we're trying so hard to make Spencer Rattler work that we are stunning the growth of our offensive game. We are a run first team. Make no bones about it. My Sean Lord, you need to feed the beast, right? Spencer Rattler, at best, is a game manager for South Carolina. I said it before and I said it again. He's a game manager that has a really good rocket arm. But he doesn't need to throw over 200 plus yards for us to win games. We need to control the clock with the run. We need to set up the play action pass, go over the top, and let Spencer Rattler do his thing. Let him not make mistakes. Let him have high percentage rates as far as completion, passing completion, and let's keep it going. The thing that I hate is the fact that this is a business that you are uh, judged off production Marcus Statterfield is in charge of the offense and if we end up at the bottom of the SEC for the second year in a row if Shane Beamer does not make a decision quickly to let go of Marcus Statterfield if this doesn't improve then Shane Beamer will then start to get the blame for our offensive struggles. I think somebody else that that knows a little bit more about college football that can, because remember, Marcus Statterfield has never been an OC. He was like a special teams coach. And he was like, a, like an assistant, to an assistant at the stop they was at. But in Carolina, underneath Matt Rule, he was like a special team coach. And y'all all see what happened to Matt Rule. So, unless Joe Brady or somebody like that is, is underneath the, the wings, we can get a better qualified offensive coordinator. Leave Marcus Statterfield alone. Am I an advocate to fire Statterfield? The, the proof is in the pudding, people. If our offense don't approve... Let him go. Why hold on to him? If Jaheim Bell can't get no touches, if Marshawn Lord 
showing you that he's ready to carry the rock, showing you he's ready to put the team on the back. But yet it's still because of the promises that you made to Spencer Rattler, that you have to feature him in the, in, in the offense. Let him go. I understand what Shane Beam was doing, and I respect that. But at the end of the day, Game Cock Nation, y'all know what time it is. If he has to go, he got to go.